Yo guys, how is everyone doing? Welcome back to our Spurs career mode here on FIFA 22. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. This is episode 11 and today we start with a game in the Europa Conference League away at Stade Rene and then we're away at Burnley in the Premier League. Let's see how they've started the campaign. They're in 10th. 5 wins, 2 draws and 5 losses. They're 5 points behind 4th place after 12 games. They've had a pretty good start to the season so this could be a tough game. But before we take on Burnley, we go up against Stad Rene and the group currently stands like this. We sit top on 8 points, Stad Rene 1 point behind us in 2nd, Vitesse in 3rd on 3 points and Gornik Sabshir bottom on two points so if we do win here against Stad Rene we will be group winners so let's go to France pick up those big three points to officially top the group on the ball, right hand side is Bergwijn, now Scarlett into Harry Kane, back into Scarlett, can we take an early lead here against Stad Rene, not with passing like that, oh have we won it back, yes we have, Lo Celso into Clark, Lo Celso again, forward to Scarlett, and it's a very good save from the goalkeeper, six minutes played and we get the first corner of the game, can we open the scoring? A very good defensive header, but the attack is not over. Lovely first touch there from Clark, and what a pass. Out to Bergwijn, beautiful first touch, a fantastic cross, and a brilliant header from the 17-year-old striker. Eight minutes played, Stad Rene nil, Spurs won. What a goal that was. The pass from Clark, the first touch from Bergwijn, and then the cross... And a superb header from Scarlett. Who has just scored his first in the Europa Conference League this season. Hopefully a few more from him in the competition. Because I'm expecting to go very deep. Well to be honest I'm expecting to win it. Let's just say that. Martin on the ball for Stad Rene, plays it forward to Niang and it's a brilliant turn from the striker who lashes it home and it's all square at 1-1 after 13 minutes. What a response from the home side. That was very poor defending. I should have made the tackle there and then there. He turned me too easily. But, what a finish. No chance for the goalkeeper. Just pure power from Niang. Lo Celso, full to Scarlett. Right hand side is Bergwijn and it's a brilliant pass. Can we retake the lead? Yes we can. Wow, 17 minutes played. There's already been three goals. One for Stad Rene and two for Spurs. Wow, what a start to this match. It was a fantastic response from Stad Rene. They scored the equaliser very, very quickly after we opened the scoring. And what a response from us after conceding the equaliser. God, it's 2-1. <laughs> Tanganga on this right-hand side. Skip. Now Lo Celso into Clark. Harry Kane. Lo Celso. Kane again. Now Skip. Forward to Scarlett, brilliant turn from the striker and his shot gets blocked but the attack is not over. A cross from the young striker and it does get cleared away but not very well and we do win it back straight away. Skip, Lo Celso, forward to Clark, now Harry Kane, can we make it 3-1? Yes we can, very good finish from the captain. 27 minutes played, Stad Rene 1, Spurs 3. Not even half hour played and there's already been four goals in this match. 
Laborde on the ball for Stad Rene. Plays it short into Doku. Decent play here from the home side. Looking to grab a goal back in this match. Fantastic pass into Laborde. And thankfully that pass into the box. Did get deflected towards the goalkeeper. Very important touch. Because if no one got a touch onto that. That was going to find a Stad Rene man. And possibly be 3-2. But here we come on the move forward. Skip to his right hand side is Bergwijn and it's a great first touch can we find Kane at the far post oh my god what a clearance lovely first touch from Clark and his shot gets blocked and the attack is over and that's a lovely header into the winger and here he comes on the move forward and we're definitely not going to catch him he's got three players in the box he plays it short into Laborde across to the far post in Doku who is offside and it remains 3-1 well the ball has been in the back of the net for the fifth time in this match. But thankfully, it's ruled out for offside. How is the offside there? Just stay. You're looking down the line. Just stay on side. Laborde in possession. Plays it out to Doku on this left-hand side. Niang. And thankfully, that pass gets intercepted. Now Bergwijn. Ball to Scarlett. Harry Kane. Scarlet, can we find Kane again? Yes, we can. It's a fantastic pass. Great first touch. Kane with the chip. And the keeper makes the save. And it's a very good throw out to this right-hand side. Oh, man. I should have just smashed it for a higher chance of being 4-1. And the goalkeeper has come out and got the ball. Absolutely incredible from Galini. And there is the half-time whistle at the break. It's Stad Rene 1 Spurs 3. What an opening 45 minutes that was. Lacelso, right hand side is Bergwijn. Now Scarlet, and he gets taken out from behind. And it's a yellow. I mean, he didn't go for the ball whatsoever. Look. That's a very dangerous tackle from. Santa Maria and to be honest I think that should be a red kind of similar to the Holgate one what do you guys think you think Santa Maria should have been sent off there because he had no intentions for the ball wasn't nowhere near it and he was behind Scarlet that was incredibly bad but here we come on the move forward looking to make the score 4-1 Harry Kane straight at the goalkeeper and he made the save, but somehow it's hit the back of the net. What the hell happened there? It's an own goal to make the score 4-1 to Spurs. Okay, let's take a look at the replay. The keeper made the save. I think it came through... Well, it didn't come through a crowd of players, but Scarlett jumped. Maybe that put the goalkeeper off. And the power, of course. No, you can see it all the way. Yeah. Don't know what kind of save that was then. Look. A bit weird. The goalkeepers are very weird on FIFA 22. So he makes a save. <laughs> he scoops his legs back. And hits the ball. Into his own goal. Okay, then. Or does the defender touch the ball? Let's take a quick look. Oh, it's the defender, isn't it? I think. Oh, I don't know. No, it's the goalkeeper's left foot, isn't it? He's back heeled it into his own net. <laughs> well... The goalkeeper for Stad Rene has put this game out of sight with that own goal. Le Celso, oh my god, gets completely taken out. Now Harry Kane! And the shot isn't great. And it's going to be a yellow card for Martin. Wow. There's been some naughty challenges in this game. That one is a, a yellow. 100%. I'm not saying that should be a red, but the other one, from behind, nowhere near the ball, 
100% has to be a red card, surely. Laborde on this right-hand side. Now Kiasi, decent play here from Stad Rene. And thankfully, the effort from Santa Maria hits the side netting. Maybe that should have been 4-2. And Stad Rene kind of back in this game with just under 30 minutes left to play. Laborde on the ball, plays it forward to Niang. Laborde has continued his run. Is the striker going to pick him out? Yes, he does. And it's a fantastic pass. Brilliant save from the goalkeeper. And he gets up and catches the ball. Absolutely incredible from Gallini to keep the score at 4-1. With just under 20 minutes left to play. Wow. That really should have been 4-2. Here we come on the move forward, and it's a very good tackle. Wow, another really good pass forward to Laborde. Off the woodwork, and I just hoof it away. I wasn't taking any risks. Wow. Holy smokes, that was almost a beauty from the Stad Rene striker. And they get a corner. 15 minutes left to play. Are they going to make the score 4-2? Not with crossing like that, wasn't the best was it and it was a good defensive header there from Clark but the attack is not over Santa Maria in possession wiggles his way through and it's a decent save from Galini again wow Stad Rene upping the pressure here to grab another goal back are they going to do it from this set piece it's a better delivery this time and Emerson clears it away but the attack is not over lovely first touch from Martin 10 minutes left to play and all of a sudden I know they had a little bit of a spell in the first half but all of a sudden they turned up to this game in the second half oh my god another really naughty challenge what the hell is going on Clark now Rich Arlison lovely pass into Lo Celso right hand side is Gill can we make the score 5-1 with the winger no we can't it's a brilliant save and surely they're going to get another yellow card no was a really bad challenge it's a 4-1 victory away at Stad Rene it was a blistering first half and as expected things kind of calmed down in the second and they were putting in some naughty challenges in the second 45 probably because they were getting smashed but we've won and that means we've officially won the group with one game left to play on the ball, Hoiberg forward to Harry Kane off the woodwork and that's a poor header from Roberts and that's a lovely one from Rich Arlison into Kane and Pope pulls off the save oh my god what a goal that almost was from Harry Kane it dipped so much and unfortunately hit the woodwork and stayed out and Pope was equal to his second effort 12 minutes gone, we get the first corner of the game. Oh, fantastic delivery. What a header from Rich Arlison, but unfortunately goes over. And out for a goal kick. I can't believe we haven't scored. It remains goalless after 13 minutes. Deli Alley, forward to Rich Arlison. Now Harry Kane, back into Rich Arlison. Can we find Lucas Mora? Yes, we can. It's a fantastic pass. I see Harry Kane at the far post. Brilliant delivery. Oh, it's almost a beauty. Oh, Rich arlison has gone for the same thing. Oh, my God. Why couldn't that go in with Harry Kane or Rich Arlison? They both attempted it. Harry Kane's was, of course, much better. Oh, my God. What a save from Pope. And then Rich Arlison tried to do exactly the same thing, but just didn't connect properly with it. If that went in, that would have been my best goal on FIFA ever. 
forever. And I've been playing FIFA since I was a little kid. <laughs> Burnley on the move forward here. And thankfully it's a very poor pass from Antonio. And the attack is over. 20 minutes played and I'm still shocked we haven't scored. Kessie, forward to Rich Arlison. Now Harry Kane. Right hand side is Lucas Mora. Can we find a white shirt in the box to make the score 1 0 across to the far post? And Kessie off the woodwork again. And it falls here to Son. Kessie, Son once again. Now Harry Kane. And it's a decent turn here from the striker. Kane! And it just hits Pope. And it remains 0 0. How? How is it still goalless? Oh my god. Deli Alley, forward to Rich Arlison. Now Kane, does Deli Alley want to make me a forward run? Yes, he does. And surely it's going to be 1 0. No, it's not because it's a fantastic block. That was going in. That was 100% going in. I was just waiting for that run. It eventually came from Alley. We pick him out. First time effort. And I believe it was going in. Okay, no, it wasn't. It was going wide. Lucas Mora on the ball. Now Sanchez. Kessie. Sanchez again. Into Son. Richarlison. Now Deli Alley. Kessie. Can we find Harry Kane? Yes, we can. It's a fantastic turn. Kane for 1 0. What a time to take the lead. Burnley 0. Spurs 1. Finally, we have found the back of the net. Pope has made some great saves. We've hit the woodwork twice. And finally Kane does this. That opening goal is fully deserved. And the striker has just scored his eighth Premier League goal of the season. Wood on the ball for Burnley. Very good turn there from the striker. And he puts across to the far post. And thankfully the effort from McNeil goes wide. He just sliced it. Wow. That really should have been 1-1. Very good and dangerous start to the second half from Burnley. Is it going to be a game of two halves? We dominate the first. And maybe they dominate the second. Or are just much better in the second and more competitive so far so good from them but thankfully it remains 1-0 to Spurs Deli Alley in possession fantastic pass out to Son on this left wing right, I'm going to try and cut inside here and make the score 2-0 with Son oh what a save from Pope it's a great effort Son almost gets taken out for a penalty but unfortunately the sliding tackle missed and Pope was equal to the effort and we get a corner the first of the second half and it's a very good delivery not a bad header from Romero but unfortunately off target and it remains 1-0 but a lively start to the second half from both sides Deli Alley in possession Harry Kane Richarlison, Kane once again, Richarlison, oh that pass into Kane almost worked out and somehow we've kept possession, now Kessie, Deli Alley into Hoiberg, out to this right hand side of Lucas Mora, Harry Kane back into Lucas Mora, brilliant save from Pope again, Richarlison picks up the loose ball, can he make it 2-0, no he can't, it's a poor effort, that wasn't a cross by the way, that was a shot, a really bad one. Lucas Mora into Deli Alley. Nice decent play there from the midfielder. Rich Arlison. Left hand side is Son. Now Kessie. Four to Kane. To his right hand side is Deli Alley. Can he make it 2 0 with his last involvement in the game? No, he can't. It's a really poor finish. Doesn't even hit the target. Goes just wide. And there's our double sub. Bergwijn and Ndombele coming onto the pitch. Let's hope they can make an impact. And help us score the next goal in this game. To wrap up the three points. Hoiberg in possession. Cork intercepts. Now Lennon on the ball for Burnley. Fantastic pass. 
into Antonio, a cross in, and it gets through to Lennon. And it's a very good finish from the winger. It's all square at 1 1. Somehow it got through to him. I thought I was going to clear it away. There, look. Oh, man. Just couldn't quite get there. And what a finish from the Burnley man. We have just over 10 minutes left to play to try and retake the lead. I'm not going to be happy with a draw. No way. We've been so good in this game and definitely deserve all three points. Bergwijn on this left-hand side. A very good pass into Kessie. Now Rich Arlison, bottom corner, 2-1. We've retaken the lead with five minutes of the 90 left to play. Oh man, I thought it was going to drop points. But we've responded perfectly. What a finish from Rich Arlison. We've got the win here away at Burnley and in the end I had to work for it. They scored at the equaliser with just over 10 minutes left to play and I really thought that was it but thankfully Rich Arlison saved the day and got the all-important goal to seal the win it definitely should have been a more comfortable win but no matter how you win three points is three points full-time result here Burnley 1 Spurs 2 so after that win against Burnley we remain five points behind league leaders Liverpool and they are still undefeated after 13 matches Everton in third and Leicester complete the top four. Have West Ham won yet? Yes, they have finally won their first Premier League game of the season. The bottom three are Brentford, Crystal Palace and Watford. In the next episode, we have two home Premier League matches against Brentford and then Norwich. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.